Hey up peeps, my name is Neil and welcome to the vlog. We have been summoned to attend and assist at a winter hiking school, so that's where we're going. It's shaking a lot. But I also figured it's a perfect opportunity to take my friend's drone and test it out because practice makes perfect. That's what they say. So I have to practice on something somewhere. No better opportunity than having nature with no one around. I do confess, however, that we could have picked a better day with better weather for this mountain school. So we made it up here. Parking's a little bit hard to come by, but that is just the beauty of uh, winter hiking. This mountain school is pretty much the basics that a mountaineer needs if he wants to go into the mountains during the winter. You have to practice things like wearing crampons, you have to know how to use your harness, your carabiners, basic things with ropes and paracord. You have to know how to abseil and how to climb and different techniques that you need to learn when you cross glaciers and things like that. A lot of these students are preparing to go into the Alps or other high altitude mountains during the year, maybe during the summer or whatever time they choose their vacation to be at. So these things are necessary before you go on any such tour. We went to one of the mountains surrounding our town here. There are many, but this one has particularly a lot of stone and ice near the top, which is the perfect conditions that you need to practice for when going into the Alps or other high altitude mountains. We then found the pit where we would be practicing all of these different techniques. And that is when I pulled out the drone. I stood up on the hill above everybody in the back flying my drone around and I'm still surprised at how well it held up in those super high winds. I did try to keep it inside the pit most of the time, but still the footage is crystal clear and buttery smooth despite the very high winds. They practice slipping, sliding, falling, um, using your ice pick to grab into the ice in case you fell and slid and things like that. Since we were finished early, we decided to continue hiking to one of the nearby peaks for an amazing view of everything else, practice climbing, things like that. Today, I'm not here to talk about that. Today, I'm here to talk about... Give me a second. Today, I'm here to talk about the DJI Mavic Pro and how it fares in today's marketplace. The DJI Mavic Pro was released in 2016, I believe, so it is four-year-old technology, and in this day and age, that is quite a while. DJI has been releasing drones for a good while in their Phantom series, but what was cool about the Mavic series is that they were so portable, so they were perfect for people who are traveling, people who are hiking, mountaineers like me, and things like that, where the form factor means a great deal. It obviously has a three-axis gimbal, plus really good video quality and photo quality, so it pretty much ticked all the boxes for a great drone that could fit in your camera bag. Nowadays we have a better version, we have a smaller version, we have a much smaller version with the Mavic Mini, but my thoughts on this is very simple. It is a tool like any other, and if you know how to use a tool, you can use it to create amazing pieces of artwork, no matter how limited you are or how limited you think you are. It's got amazing functionality, it's got amazing controllability, it's got amazing footage. That's all you need to pair it with your DSLR or mirrorless camera and for most level productions it'll do just fine. It does have a learning curve. You do have to practice a lot. Getting your basic shots, maybe moving forward, back, side to side is pretty easy but then most drone shots are that so you probably want to skip that phase as fast as you can to get into the combinations of rotating and panning or yaw whatever they call it and tilting your camera at the same time, that is what makes the most epic shots. But I think after a while of practice, like anything else, you're gonna be good at it, especially if you get an emulator or a flight, flight simulator or something like that, because that will help you just get the joystick movements down and how you can combine them into one smooth mouth draw, jaw dropping move. So shout out to my friend Alice for letting me borrow it for the making of this video. I have several drone requests coming up during the summer which is why I figured I'd take it, practice, learn on it, 
that's a lot of trust for someone to give you their drone considering how easy it is for it to bump into something and just fall out of the sky so thank you for that bro and hopefully with all these mountain tours coming up we're gonna see some cool footage from somewhere that you have never seen before thank you guys for sticking around and listening to me blabber as always i'm gonna see you guys in the next video i should do uh this see you guys in the next video